Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and it's time for our monthly build series where we go over uh, a mining rig build of some type and the parts that I've laid out and figuring out how much it would cost right now in today's market, which is still crazy. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I was looking for the RTX 3080 Ti, and we know that 3080 Ti is actually handicapped because it has LHR or light hash rate. However, there are 3080s out there and you can get them for sub 2K. I remember back in the day when we were complaining about 1K or 1.2K, and now look at it. It's absolutely crazy, all the way up to $2,000. Now, what I came up with is the average cost per 3080 would be, and not 3080 Ti, but 3080 would be about $2,050. So with that accounted, here's the part lists, parts list that I have laid out for us. Um, ignore the power draw, which is actually hidden behind me, because that is not taken into account how many GPUs. We're going to use six 3080s, and that's going to be a lot of power, but bear with me here. Let's go through the parts list real quick. So we got the Intel Core i3. It's actually down from the previous month as far as costs, um, but it's the Core i3. Let me move up here. And the cost actually dropped down, I would say, about uh, 5 to 10%, and it's $108.00. Uh, there's no dual core CPUs out there unless you already have a stack of them or that you find them on eBay. If you can find them on eBay or you can go to a garage sale and get a old LGA 775 with a dual core CPU, I would recommend going that route. If not, you just want to buy new. Uh, the i3 10100F is looking about the cheapest. Uh, because even if you could find an LGA dual core, the hard part is finding a motherboard that isn't 200 plus dollars for an old school socket. We're going to be cooling it with this Thermaltake UX100. It is a 65 watt TDP CPU cooler. And then the motherboard is the Asus Prime H410. Now this is a newer series motherboard. It's cut down, but it gets the job done. This one right here is a micro ATX, but there's an ATX motherboard. That's just a little bit more if you want to get it right so 109 on being uh b h new has got it for 113. this one's 80 bucks just about so just weigh out the pros and cons because it is out of stock in some places and in one place to get it if you do buy through amazon is almost 100 bucks so do you want to just spend the extra 10 bucks or something like that and get a full atx board which will give you the capability of having more slots that's up to you so this one only has one by 16 or by eight and then two by ones, which we can use the adapters, as I shown in, in my previous video, split those out to four each. Additionally, uh, we can have right about, let's see here, so four, four, uh, nine, 10 GPUs possibly on this board. Now it depends on a number of variables, chipset, how many lanes, so on and so forth, but I believe we can get away, uh, especially when it comes to mining, not so much gaming, but when it comes to mining, that we'll be able to get possibly 10 GPUs on this ATX motherboard rather than the micro. But for this build, the micro ATX is what we chose and continue on down. So for memory, I did get something with a little bit more heat sink on it because the previous ones were just the bare PCB, green PCB. It's the Aegis uh, from G-Skill for really good memory, simple, 2400 megahertz speed. Nothing too crazy because we don't need anything crazy. I did go with eight gigabytes total. The reason I'm always choosing eight gigabytes in my videos, even though you may not need it, is because it really depends on the algorithm you are mining on. If the algorithm you're mining on may require more memory than just four gigabytes. Um, and then for storage, I have two options here, but we can kind of write off about 32 to 33 bucks. So you can get the ADATA SU6350, or excuse me, 635. It's a 240 gig. It's one that I'm running on my systems. It works great, it's cheap, but the boards that I mentioned do have an M.2 slot. So see, here's one on the ATX, and then we, or micro ATX, and then we saw one on the actual full-size ATX board, and you can utilize that if you would like to. It's not too much of a difference, and it comes with 256 versus 240. Uh, so I, didn't ca I only calculated 33 bucks instead of including both of these, but you could run both if you really wanted to. Then for the GPUs, again, the RTX 3080 at $2,050 each would total up to $12,300 for six cards. That's a lot of money, but let's just keep that in the back of our mind. 
Power is going to be a different story. Now, I did choose the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 12. It's a 1200 watt power supply, it costs about $400. Uh, additionally, there's a Seasonic one that costs a little bit more, and it's 1300 watts. And it really comes down to making the, the type of cards you get, right? So the Founders Edition has that weird connector. You need two 8 pins. But then what happens if you wind up getting this EVGA card, which has, you know, three 8 pin connectors? You're going to have to pick and choose based upon the actual GPUs that you get your hand on because there's so many models and makes out there. Some take two 8 pins, some take three 8 pins, and so on and so forth. Now, typically, you can power, um, well, at least back in the day, you could power your GPU with only two 8 pins. But nowadays, if that third one is not plugged in, the card will not detect or won't, it will beep or whatever. The motherboard will go crazy. So just, just be careful. Uh, we can use splitters to make that up, but the biggest thing is the TDP. And let me, let me bring you guys in here. The TDP of these cards stock is 320 watts. That's a lot of juice. When you tune these cards for mining, it is two, we can get it down to about 220, 223, somewhere in there. So 220 is the target. But you always want to have enough power and be prepared for in case a driver crashes, something happens, something resets, and it starts to pull that 320 watts. If you have two 3080s on one strand, you're going to eat. And what I mean by one strand is one power connector connected to the motherboard or excuse me, to the, the power supply, that you're going to go past its limits and you gotta be very careful. So powering this thing is is very, it takes a fine touch, okay? You guys need to be aware of what you have and what you're doing and what the possible power draw numbers are. Now, Parallel Miner is uh, a good option because compared to these $400 slash $500 power supplies, you could get, if you're on a 240 volt or 200 to 240 volt, a decent, uh, server power supply with the ZSX breakout board and that will allow you the capability to power your motherboard Control your fans power your GPUs so on and so forth with this kit Of course the price did go up since I last created it because it's getting a lot of attention and that's fine That I mean these kits are really good and they help you save money What you can do is get two of these and still get the job done one with a ZSX breakout board and one with a normal breakout board and that will get the job done or you can get one of these power supplies and then one of these server power supplies as well. But realistically, if you're an at-home miner and you're on the normal 110, 120 volt, you may need to step it up or you, need to, you may need to dedicate an entire line. And what I mean by that is multiple houses have rooms, like the room, the bathroom, the front foyer will all be linked on one circuit. And that's a lot of power to be drawing through one circuit if you have an air fryer, microwave, or whatever. So just, just be mindful. You know, if you have an electrician friend, maybe consult with them. But you just be mindful of what's on that circuit and what you're doing. Otherwise, a dedicated 240, uh, 240 or 200 volt would get the job done. Additionally, you could get multiple power supplies and then split them out. So if you get normal uh, ATX power supplies and you split them out, that could help you power up the system. But I would challenge you to check out videos on how to power your mining rigs well, that I did, that uh, I believe Red Panda Mining's talked about. Gamers Nexus has a really good uh, information regarding power over SATA. You do not want to power these cards using the SATA to six pin splitter. Um, even the risers I'm a bit hesitant on because what happens if it's not getting enough juice through the eight pins and starts pulling through the riser. Just be mindful, there's a lot of, there's a lot of inconsistencies with the 3000 series because it draws so much power stock so these are options but you need to continue to do more research I want to go over what the cost is and what's gonna be what's gonna be the breakdown here so you can get multiple ATX power supplies maybe get three you know thousand watts and split them out there are two two splitters or three splitters uh, then we need a frame right so the frames right now have gone up in price this one's about 5119 uh, of course, if you try to get an 8 GPU frame, it's going to be up there. And sometimes some of these are like 300, 200 bucks. Uh, of course, a pack of risers is not too much right now. It's dropped down in price. You could always check out GPURisers.com. Uh, really good people. And their risers are above board or, or better class of riser. You can always check them out. And 
either you're spending around anywhere from 35 to 65 dollars depending on the risers and then here's the adapter that i was talking about we're going to need two of these and just as i mentioned with brandon coin sometimes these may arrive doa dead on arrival so you may want to pick up an extra one all right so get about uh three and just in case and go from there now let's go to what to mine real quick and go ahead and do some pricing but i will have everything down in the description the actual breakdown of the parts the pricing the totals all that stuff just go ahead and take a look at it and go from there so now we had six 3080s with just an estimation it's not exact we're going to get about 549 uh eth hash or or mega hash on eth and we're pulling about almost 1400 watts this is why i say power is so important especially could you imagine that at stock 320 watts uh, you'd be drawing a lot of juice just with six GPUs, but I've seen people do it with eight So it, it can be done. Just got to be make sure that you're wiring um, The circuit you're on, you know, just be mindful of everything Don't try to do this on a 110 120 volt. You might want to do this on a 240 or 200 So Eve is the most profitable. It will get us about $32 uh, a day um, 28 after uh, electric cost but then there's other cryptocurrencies that you can also mine on. So if you did accidentally get a 30 ATI instead of a 3080, you know, maybe you can mine Conflux or Ergo or something else. So I would shoot for the 3080s. Um, be careful of uh, people saying the cards are this and they're not and accidentally getting an LHR. That's the thing I don't like about LHR is that you can actually get screwed and the person say hey no it's not a non it's a it's a non LHR and then you get it and it is so total hardware cost for everything that I have here is thirteen thousand one hundred and eighty dollars at time of filming and ninety one cents if we calculate that at one percent fees ten cent per kilowatt hour and the current hash rate and power draw it would take us four hundred and ninety days to break even again at time of filming give us every month about eight hundred and six dollars in our pocket so we could basically pay off one of the GPUs in about a month and a half and then again every month and a half and that depends on Eve continuing to have the payouts it's have in the market and stuff like that so I know it fluctuates so just make wise decisions make especially when it comes to the electrical I know I went on a tangent with that but the electrical aspect of powering these cards I want you guys to be very smart don't burn anything up know what your limits are and kind of go from there but that's going to do it for me i'm sorry that the market prices are absolutely crazy right now and still may continue to be crazy until uh q1 of 2022 so just just shop wisely uh i uh, the average was 2050 dollars but if you can get it for cheaper go for it try to go for the 3080s right in 3080 ti's uh i don't like you guys buying from the scalpers but if you did this is how much it would cost this is how much you would make and this is how long it would take to break even at time of filming you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching do me a favor on the way out please hit the like button subscribe for additional content like this don't forget to hit the notification bell as well check out the links down in the description below like to dogelord.com where you get a sweet hat from the serpent x collection and you guys have yourself a beautiful day take care i'll catch you next one mm -hmm.